Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Julie Mann and I show men and women how they can have healthy, happy, sustainable lives. And I do that by showing them how to change their habits. And talking of habits, today I'm joined by the absolutely lovely Jody Miller-Young and she is otherwise known as the Hound Healer. And Jody's gonna to talk to us today. She's gonna to give us, I think, three healthy pet habits. Is that right, Jody? That is correct. Thank you so much, Julie. It's a pleasure to be here. Fantastic. Well, just over to you. Okay. Um, these habits really come out of the kind of world that we live in today. Unfortunately, we live in a toxic world and we can't avoid it. So we have to look at ways that we can sort of mitigate that for our pets and do healthier things for them so that we don't burden their bodies with any more toxins than they already are exposed to, right? So the, the key pillar of all health for people and pets is nutrition. So that's the number one healthy habit that I wanna talk about briefly. And that is if you're feeding your dog dry food, kibble, I know it's super easy to do. You just pop it in the bowl and walk away. But it is so, it's like feeding your, your dog or cat McDonald's for every meal. And we know what happens when you feed fast food for every meal. There was a movie made about this. So it's not healthy. What I would recommend is to try and slowly transition even to freeze dried raw, which is as convenient because you get the benefits of raw and freeze dried as opposed to dehydrating, which uses heat, which kills nutrients, retains the nutrients, retains all the goodness of the food for the most part. So if you really need convenience, look for a good freeze dried raw. And then all you do is either crumble it up and put it in a bowl or rehydrate it and put it in a bowl and walk away. If you really wanna go all out, you can go for raw, which is, I'm talking about like frozen or fresh raw, which retains the live enzymes, which is the best bet. And if you're interested in learning more about that, you can come to thehoundhealer.com or you can reach out to me and I can tell you more. The second habit is learn some holistic ways to heal. Why? There are times when we need to go to our vet no doubt. And I teach pet parents when you need to go to the vet. But there are plenty of times that we run to the vet and we don't really need to. And if we had some holistic tools in our pocket, some knowledge, we could heal our pets naturally. So we don't have to put them on that pharmaceutical drug, which is going to add more toxicity to their body. So learn something holistic, be it homeopathy, which I teach pet parents, or herbology, or a number of different ways that you can learn to heal. So that's another recommendation. The third one, and this may sound like, oh, well, okay, yeah, duh. Um, employ happiness. There are scientific studies that show that when we or our pets are happy, it boosts the immune system. There have been studies done where blood samples are taken from pets prior to employing what they absolutely love to do for two to four weeks. And then after that, taking another blood sample and you can see a difference in their levels, they're healthier. So the body and the mind are intrinsically connected. We know this, it's the same for our pets. If you employ what they love to do, and you know your baby better than anyone, right? So choose what they love to do and do more of it. Whether it's play dates with friends, more time with you, going to the dog park, playing with their favorite toys, giving them chews, healthy chews, do it. And you can see the results over really a short amount of time. So these are three, there are more that I can tell you about and you can see more healthy things to do with thehoundhealer.com. Or again, you can reach out to me and I can talk with you more about your individual pet. I love that. I absolutely love that you've mentioned happiness. And also it's very stressful, isn't it? To take an animal to the vet, let alone the vet bill 
and them being on medication. Yes. Actually, they hate that. And we don't like it if our pets are stressed. So absolutely yes. brilliant, Jodi. So yes. for those of you that don't know enough about Jodi, like she says, go onto her website and find out more, which will be, the links will be below this video. So thank you very much for watching. And thank you, Jodi, so much for sharing those brilliant habits. It's my pleasure to their best health, Julie.